Hey, this is the video Asian video gamer here with another post commentary of Dark Souls 2. It's no longer the Black Mage. This is a new roleplay character. It's the uh, Berserker, and I ripped off the costume from Final Fantasy X 2. <laughs> Decided to change up the Berserker build a bit because this is a female character. Hopefully, you guys will enjoy. I'm still missing some of the pieces I want, but I'll get there in later parts. Don't worry. So, um, today's agenda will be talking about first of all this build and what I'm using. Second, we'll be talking about what I th think of the weapon that I'm using, what I think about this build. And then uh, I'm going to talk about Dark Souls and the Souls series in general at this point. And then I'm going to give a review on this new DLC, well, not new, but on this DLC stuff in uh, Dark Souls. And then I'll talk about other things in real life. So stay tuned, holy shit. Yeah, actually, I actually try to use the Black Mage through this Iron Crown DLC, but yeah, there's no way I can get through it because these guys are so hard. And if I don't pull a shield, there's no way I'll win. See? I have to. Well. I didn't want to use a small shield because that didn't really fit the Berserker style. So I decided to use the uh, Giant's Great Shield. This one has some fire resist, which is pretty cool. Which is very useful for this area. Because they all kind of have some sort of fire damage. The weapons I'm using are Lion Great Axe from uh, the Shaded Woods. When they when the lions hit you with it, you get cursed. But when you hit people with it, they don't get cursed. So it's sort of eh. The damage is not bad if you get a backstab and stuff. The critical hits on this thing is pretty cool. But the swing time is very slow. So, as you can see, the chest has been opened, and I've died millions of times here. I'm just showing you where to get some treasures. Um, actually, on top of this stairs, there's another treasure. Well, by this time, what, whatever. People who's watching this probably already know all this stuff here. More than me. So, I, I need to jump here to get my treasure. Apparently, there's somebody there. Oh, shit. Took an arrow in the face these guys are so annoying holy shit like one hit and I'm almost dead yeah I gotta get out gotta get out yeah chop chop holy shit damn They do so much damage. Holy shit, I just died. Unbelievable. So what am I using right now? It's uh the... Uh, for the pants, I'm using the... I can't remember what's the name. It's going to be a fast run back. I'm going to fast forward a bit. Um, it's the cat's pants that you get for killing the two rat bosses and then you can buy from the cat in Jula. and we're back at where we died last time so these guys like you can see like my thing doesn't deal enough damage and this guy deals so this guy just it's so damaging and he can fly anywhere it's so hard to uh there you go kill them as I was saying, like it's so hard to kill them. They don't stun well, and they have high poise. I guess that's what you want to say. Or 
poison this game is kind of broken. You know, it doesn't make sense. So there's some stuff there. Yeah, grab it. Get out. I don't know what I'm doing. For the weapons, like I said before, is the uh, Lion Grey Axe. Right now I'm trying to find a bow to use. Actually, after I respect my character, I can actually use a great bow. I don't know if, if I should. Because I don't have any great bow arrows. I know you can buy it from Vanguard, so I guess I have to find them later on. <laughs> for now, you have to use fire arrows for after the uh, after the first bonfire. Oh yeah, and the, here I've been here before, so I cleared out the uh, that statue already. But if you haven't, you have to go through that. From you should go through it from the ladder, otherwise you're gonna get killed. Here I'm trying to look for like a spot to jump down. There you go. I'm gonna snipe him from up here. Just cheese him out. Range attacks have its uses here. Not that much though. And he's not dead. There, he's dead. So, what is the Berserker build? Well, in Final Fantasy, the Berserker on well, Final Fantasy V, I never played Final Fantasy XII, uh, X2. In Final Fantasy V, Berserker is a strength build character that uses axe. Unfortunately, they just do their own thing, you can't control them. So that's why nobody uses them, I think. I mean, you can make a character Berserker and look, just let them do whatever you want, but... Still pretty bad. Oh, here I'm trying to show that there's two chargers there. At the risk of getting killed here, because there's two of them. There is two of them, and here's the back. And it's kind of hard to do a backstab on the ledge, because for some reason, like, it just doesn't register. And yeah. Well, on to the next, like once you get here, there's going to be like some crazy suicide bombers. Don't run into them. Don't do this. This is bad. <laughs> Almost blew myself up. Uh, at this point, I want to say like the uh, Great Axe is not bad. It's not, it's not the best, but it's not bad. And it's the, uh, there's definitely good uses for it. Like, it's faster than, like, this ultra weapons, but it's slower than katanas, obviously, and all the other faster weapons. The damage doesn't really justify for the slow speed, so it does have its problem, but, like I said, the backstab is crazy good. Critical hits are good. Um, in PvP, I think the dual wield, dual wielding is better option than than not using it. It does have a good ground slam, which is not, which is pretty good, which I like a lot. It deals a lot of poison damage, which is good. And for PvEing. It has a lot of, um, what do you call it, stability, or what do you call it, um, endurance, is that what you call it, whatever you call it, it's all cool. So here I'm trying to force this guy to jump down the ladder, but for some reason he doesn't want to jump, so I was like, ah, we kill it, <laughs> and I thought, I thought the shield would have pushed it in. Instead, it slammed it right in the hut. It, it deals so much damage. This DLC is kind of weird. Like, they just put enemies everywhere and call it a DLC. It's kind of... It's kind of sad. Like, in um, the other DLC, like, not every corner has an enemy. But here, like, everything... Every time you go down a ladder, there's something there. 
every time you turn it, open the door, there's something there. Oh, and look at there. There's two of them. One of them is a range. And look at this. Boom. Right in the head. The headshot. Damn it. Yeah. So, instead of watching me coming back, so I just cut that out. I'm going to try this again. Usually, you can just run through. Whatever. I think it's a better idea. Oh. Uh. Oh, that's the other thing about this axe. The uh, tracking on it is really weird from the from other weapons. How the hell they threw that? Oh god! Yeah, there you go. Backstab. One hit backstab on these guys. Oh, did I not pick that up? Yep. Yep, I did not pick that up. I don't believe I picked that up. Come on, pick it up. So, yeah. Yep, did not pick it up. <laughs> what a fail. Um, yeah, so here's the second bonfire. So, instead of uh, going through the... Uh, talk about what I'm doing there. Let's talk about something else. Let's talk about the uh, overall status of Dark Souls or Souls series. So at this point this is the third iteration of the uh, Souls games. The first one being the Demon Souls and second one and the third one being Dark Souls. The next one is actually not going to be called Souls. Instead it's going to be Blood Vein. Blood born sorry and it's gonna it looks like to be the same premise as demon souls or whatever I guess it's people are labeling the successor to demon souls but I think it's gonna be a new game completely new game but at this point I think the souls games are a little how you say it like, if they made Dark Souls into like an MMO RPG, I think people would play it. They just need to keep expanding on it. It's like a dungeon crawler, but with you know action. And I think that's a better way to approach it instead of keep making new games and new settings. They should milk that for a while. They can milk this game for a year. Like Dark Souls came out for less than a year and Bloodborne is already coming out in March. So that's kind of quick. And I don't believe FromSoft is a big company to do that. I hope Bloodborne's going to be good. Oh, by the way, there's a barrel behind that. That's why you need to do that. Otherwise, you won't open the door. And if you try to hit it, you're going to explode. There's a guy throwing the bomb. You just want to get rid of him, and then you you get a glimpse of what where you have to go. And there's a big guy there, a bunch of other smaller guy, and then one of those statues where you have to put this wedge in. It's kind of annoying. The game does give you help in terms of those barrel guys, and you can shoot them and kill them, but they're really hard to control. Don't fall into those traps, otherwise you're going to get stuck in that room. So here's the room that you're supposed to go, and then there's a huge, there's like three guys with the barrels. They don't attack you. So what you want to do is get them to the uh, trap door, let them fall down, let them run a bit, and then just be patient here. Try to trigger the big guy. Roll into that, get more space. Shoot the guy in the legs. Get him to come. Come on. Come on. Yeah, this is, this DLC is not that fun. It's kind of weird how they make it like this. Like, they purposely made this room for you to shoot at. Like, there's no way you can go down there and melee everything. That's stupid. So, you go down just to, you know, let them do that. Yeah, that's exactly what you want to do. You want to shoot the barrel guys right beside the guy. 
right beside the big guy and then let him explode. Don't shoot it when he's not there because you're just wasting the barrel guys. There's only four of them, so be careful, eh? It's kind of stupid because there's a freaking ladder here blocking you. They purposely made it so you could shoot, but they put crates and shit there to block you. So frustrating. There, I just killed and wasted. I think I wasted that one. Here, I need to get the barrel. There you go. Three of them. All at once. Perfect. Now, there's no more guys left, I think. No, there's one left. Whatever. Whatever. One of them's nothing. And then you see one of those uh, statues that you need to put your wedge on. Here, I get to just give him a taunt. And I get hit. <laughs> Dark Souls is still hard if there's one enemy. Well, not really. I just destroyed him. So yeah, I think Dark Souls can, is one of those games that can actually transfer from being a standard normal RPG game to an MMO because the online presence in Dark Souls 2 proves it that it can. It has interest, there's a lot of interest, a lot of PvP, a lot of PvE. I think Dark Souls in the first two games, the first three games, have not tapped in that potential yet. Have not tapped into that um, sector. And hopefully in the near future they will try something like that. Sorry, that's uh, somebody being behind me. So yeah, that's the future of Souls game, that would be great, but who knows what's going to happen. Um, other games are going to start picking up, you know, like Lords of the Fallen starting to pick up this idea, you know, adventure style with action, real action. Not a lot of people like this game, but what am I talking about? A lot of people like this game, but not like the majority, I guess, people, but I think it can actually do well as long as it doesn't start doing those fetch quests i would rather like get experience from killing things rather than doing fetch quests because i hate fetch quests if i grind because i have to fetch quest somebody i think i would stop playing dark souls this these guys are really annoying Look at how much damage they deal. I'm trying to poison them. Apparently you can poison them. I think you can poison anything, but they just have a little higher resistance. And it's really not that worth it. There you go. Now he's getting poisoned. And I'm just gonna wait here until he dies. So yeah, that's what my thoughts on uh, how to make souls better. Hopefully they, they are planning something like this. I wouldn't know how, to, how they would make a game like that. Like, continuously huge world. But still online multiplayer. Like, I think there's a purpose in uh, limiting the connection connectivity in Dark Souls and Dark Souls 2. But... I'm not sure like you want to keep going with that because I sense that players are I mean it makes sense you want to make a game that's one on one instead of like 12 on 12 like crazy crazy combat like I guess medieval or games like that chivalry Shivery is the game I was thinking of. You want to make a game that's, you know, Dark Souls. Like a mono on mono. Maybe, so maybe massively online gameplay might not be suitable. But at the same time, I think, like, it's not a bad idea to approach. How they would make it, I don't know yet. Here, I don't 
no why charged in, even though I saw him do that move. These guys are really annoying. Like, even with one tick left, like, she can still- Holy shit. I'm just getting wrecked here. I need to put on my shield. And she was not done her combo yet. Shit. And I died. So this is my third death already. Annoying. This DLC is really annoying. Which is... Which comes up to our next topic. This DLC. I hate this DLC right now. Like, I'm... Twi like, I've been playing this DLC for a long time now. And I've been through this part, like, with four characters. And I still cannot get it right every time. And it's not because, like... Like, Dark Souls is not hard. Dark Souls is a very fair game, but this is not fair. When you fight against like three guys in a row and you have to kill them in one shot, that's not fair. And this DLC, I think its purpose is to troll you. Because they put all these stupid shit in there. It just frustrates the players. Like here, I gotta kill this guy really fast because there's two guys coming. And I can either go through there through the fog gate and have them chase me or run down here. Here, I think it crosses to the other tower. I don't know. I've never been through that tower. Uh, I might come back later to it, but you'll see why I think this game is trying to troll you really soon. But first off, I think I try to get. I'm gonna try and get to the bonfire first before I do anything. Stupid. So yeah, kill these two guys real fast. Kill this guy. Backstab. Run it. And by the time you get here, you gotta have a good weapon, otherwise you'll get yourself killed. But you gotta get one. You gotta one shot these guys. Like no joke. You don't one shot them, you're dead. And here we're finally to the third bonfire. We got to the bon third bonfire, yay! Oh my god, this game, this this DLC is so annoying. So much annoyance. The last DLC, the um, the first DLC was pretty good. That that one, even though there's a lot of enemies, there's a lot of ways to get around it. This one, like the ways you get around it is you wait. For the guy to run into the barrel, which is stupid, and then you shoot it with an arrow. I really don't like that. And then these guys are like standing in narrow places, purposely standing there to block you so you can't run past them. Like, shit. That's not Dark Souls. This is like freaking. I don't know what you call it. I don't know what game. It's like Skyrim, I guess. It's stupid game that forces you to go one path this guy is why I say from is trying to troll you in this game because this guy is so annoying and he deals so much damage holy shit that combo man you try to I th my thing dealt no damage to him and here's why I think this game is trying to troll you look look at him He's an invader, an NPC invader trying to run away from you. What the fuck? What the fuck? So I usually just ignore him. I won't be able to use bonfire for a while, but whatever. He's not going to come back up. And if you chase him, if you actually chase him, you'll see like there's guys waiting for you. Standing there waiting for you. The first time I actually chased him, I got killed. Freaking, freaking game. So let's try shooting them from top. Oops, doesn't work. Shooting from there. Sh shoot them from here. Shoot them again. Oh shit! He's throwing fireballs. 
fire bombs deal so much damage. My fire bombs deal nothing to him. I'll give them one thing though. The level designs are so nice. Like, it's not as good as Dark Souls, but look at it. It's, like, graphically, it looks amazing. And you can see in the land. Like the far landscapes. And holy shit, I, I was just giving it praise, and then there's like two guys in the corridor. Like, that's the gameplay for Dark Souls. Like, how is that fun? Die. There's stuff on the left, but I'm. I, I can't be bothered. It's too annoying. So, we're gonna keep going through this I think uh, I think I think I left out some treasures here I'll pick it up later so after the third bonfire now you're gonna go through some stupid dungeon stuff oh yeah the, the invaders still there you can't you can't use the bonfire stupid well uh, I mean like that guy serves one purpose like you won't get invaded or can you I don't think you can get Double invaded. That wouldn't make sense. Yeah, he left. So here's more traps, more annoying parts of the game. That does not need to be there. There's a guy shooting lightning bolts at me in the narrow corridor between the traps. So the point of this is to open all these gates so we can get through. Once you get through, you can get to the next part of the dungeon. Oh my god, and there's like three of these corridors that you have to go through. So annoying. And you gotta be patient for this thing, like holy shit, it just took like a chunk off. Just like that. So I don't know how I missed that guy there. Like every time I miss, I miss that there's a guy there. Like where's where does she come from? She died here. Completely just got destroyed. And then at the end of this corridor, there's two of them. Great. I hate these sorceress things. They're really annoying. Wish they just die. So I'm just gonna sh pick them off. You're gonna see me kite a lot in this DLC, which I hate kiting. This is not a game for kiting. This is a game where you just go up and wreck people. But they make it a kiting game. Stupid. Oh. So yeah, I hate this DLC. If you haven't noticed already, I love Dark Souls loved games but this DLC just this is not doing it for me here's a close-up shot of my character yay sexy right so that's what I want to talk about in terms of Dark Souls so let's talk about what's happening what's going on so I'm uh, at my new place to set up my new Christmas tree it's like a three feet tall Christmas tree at my house. And I think it's awesome. And also most of my stuff in my new house is almost done. So right now I'm just enjoying whatever things I can do with it just enjoying the time oh shit I should have just let it stay in the fire whatever but one new thing that I picked up is watching NBA like I'm not really into watching sports before I did a lot of sports back in high school and stuff but wasn't a big guy in terms of national sports and stuff like that but holy shit I'm from Toronto and the Raptors right now are owning ass 
just love watching it. And I watch it every night with my wife. Oh shit. This guy with the big club. Holy shit, I know you have a big club. Stop spewing your stuff out. God damn, this guy wants to hit me with his club and his his liquids. I hate this character. It makes no sense. Like he has a lot of hit points. He's fast. And he can spew lava from his shoulders. Like what the hell? The only way you can kill him is like efficiently is to cheese him out. Like how does that even make sense? Oh well, here's the shortcut. And after this, make sure you open all the shortcuts so you don't have to do that again. You will never have to do that again for this character until you play the new game. Plus, here's the shortcut back to the bonfire. And after this part, is on to the next annoying part. Like, holy shit, how many annoying parts are there? Ah, oh, so, so what else is happening in life? Well, not much at this point, other than waiting for my Christmas holidays. Going to be going to snowboarding in December. Took a week off from work. Looking forward to that. Hopefully my legs won't break. And yeah. So let's talk. Oh, I guess that's enough about me. Let's talk about games again. New releases coming up that I'm excited for. One new game that's coming out, or he came out, is Dragon Age Inquisition. Dragon Age, the first game is actually quite good. I really enjoyed it and all the um, choices you can make in there is so fun. Makes it like a really good story, good, you know, actually make, makes you, uh, makes your choices mean something and like, you know, Mass Effect. And Dragon Age, the other thing that's good about it is um, the way you control all your characters. Like, the first one, I mean, the second one sucked. I didn't like the second one. The first one was good. I hope in, in uh, Dragon Age Inquisition, that's how you say it, will be more like the first game instead of the second game. The second game became like a freaking almost like Dynasty Warriors style game. It's kind of stupid if you ask me. But the first one, you know, you could, you, you have to actually strategize like where to heal, who to tank, who's gonna deal damage to who, who's gonna crowd control, like all that in one game like one person control that's kind of hard i kind of want to play that game again but not anytime soon i guess because there's no time and i need to finish this playthrough this is part eight even though i'm using a different character I might change characters again later on, but for now I'm gonna stick with the Berserker because I'm having fun with it. Like I said, I have no plans, I have no no real motive to change. I just do whatever I want. These guys on the ground oh my god, it didn't blow. There's no no point in fighting with them, they have huge health. They, they expose themselves, matters not. The best way to kill them is to force them to explode and roll back. That's what I find. 
And here, once you go down, you're gonna meet the second troller. Second troll. So just go all the way down. Like, this guy buffs his weapon like it's a fucking asshole. And tries to. Holy shit. It deals so much damage. Holy shit. Like, I don't understand how, like, backstab whiffs on NPCs as well. Like, I can understand, like, the whiffing on when, when you're playing PvP. Because, you know, there's lag, but it whiffs on freaking NPCs. God damn. This guy's so annoying to kill. Holy shit. Holy shit. There you go, backstab. Deals nothing. Holy shit, how much health does this guy have? Like freaking 3,000 or something? This guy's like has health as much as a boss. Makes no sense. It deals half my life in one hit. What the fuck? Oh god. Oh god. I can't heal. I gotta force him to. Oh shit. Stop doing that. He has infinite stamina. The only thing I have over him is Estus Flasks. There you go, second back. Come on, die. Die. Oh god. Oh shit. I don't know how they make the NPCs here in this game so so much like real players. They do jump attacks, they do parries, they do shield bash, like shit. It really shames the other game's AI. If from shop it makes it like this. Holy shit. Oh my god, I got him. Got him. I actually got him. Holy shit, I thought I was gonna die. I thought I died here. Oh well, I guess I killed him. And then now you have to open these doors. And look, more fat guys. Shit. More fat guys that blow up for huge damage. You got you, you, the only thing you can do is just wait and watch them blow up. That's the only way to kill them. They're really annoying, but whatever. This is actually the way to proceed with the level, but there's some treasures in these rooms. So it's not a bad idea to open them. Just make sure you kill these guys. Just shoot them and let them blow. Holy shit, when they, they do that, it's really scary. So just let them blow up. And let this guy come over here. Let him stay in the fire for a while. Let him burn. Let him walk around it. See, see, like it deals no damage to him. It just blows up. There you go. More dead guys. At this point, like souls doesn't even matter because you get so much souls. You have so much souls that it doesn't even matter at this point. So this one, there's a treasure here, but I don't know. For some reason, why? Once you start picking them up, a guy shows up. Like, this girl just shows up out of nowhere. Whatever, just... <laughs> Flew all the way from there. <laughs> uh, so cool. I wish all these characters, uh, all these... Um, what do you call it? Monsters. I, I wish they retained their body like a rag doll. This is kind of cool when they do that. Oh shit, she dropped something. I didn't know that. Shit, I gotta check that out later. Maybe for our next build. Boom. 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 Now they're gonna blow up. And I think that's it. I believe that's all of them. I could be wrong, but I think that's all of them. Did I, did I miss a door? I think I missed a door. 
Yeah, well, whatever. It's not important. I'm not coming back here for sure. I'm not coming back here. <laughs> so hurry up and get what I need to here. You know how all these blood stains are here. You know there's something going to be something bad's going to happen here, like really bad. And then you open the door. And you see all these fat dudes just lying there. These guys start blowing up, like for some reason. Like, don't grab the stick first, just trigger these guys. Once you start grabbing the iron scepter, these guys all... All of a sudden just starts blowing up on you, so... It's much better for you to, you know, be able to force them to, through this corridor and watch them explode themselves. These guys give bonfire acidics, which is not bad. It's very good. Here's the Iron Scepter! Yes! Finally through this freaking thing. I can't remember if I stopped at the fume boss or before that. I think it's before that. I think I think I yeah, I remember where I stopped. Yeah. Oh my god. This this DLC is... Did I say I hate this DLC? I hate this DLC so much. How did I get from talking about Dragon Age and to talking about this DLC again? Oh, there's a trap. Oh, look. There's a fat guy. Every freaking corridor, every corner, there's an enemy. Why? Why am I not surprised? I could hit him with the, uh, the shield. And see what happens. Holy shit. He's trying to rape me. No, fat guy. You can't rape me. Get hit with an axe. Oh, why am I pulling this out? Now what? Blow up. Yes, you want to blow your load. I know you do. Up the elevator we go. Come on, let's finish this stupid DLC. I've never fought any of the bosses in, the, in this DLC yet. So I have no idea what's going to happen. <laughs> Is there any more enemies? Please don't tell me there's more. I can't handle it right now. Oh, we're back to the front. Thank you. Thank you. Oh. Now to make my way back. Make my way back to uh, the last bonfire and then put the scepter in. And then hopefully it will get us closer to the next boss so yeah my wife is uh, right behind me playing lol you might hear her her frustrations from now and then let's just ignore her pretend she's not here <laughs> so let's go on with the game releases dragon age what else is next for craft for four Steam recently had a sale for Car uh, Far Cry series 1 to 3 for 10 bucks. Even though I have Far Cry 3 and Far Cry 1 already, I was tempted to buy it. And I did. I bought it. Yeah. It was such a good deal. Too bad I didn't buy it. I bought it. I totally bought it. Anyways, um. Far Cry 3, the the uh, selling point of that game was that there's a really bad antagonist, or should I say very good antagonist, and the character was portrayed as being a cruel, sadistic, you know, crazy pirate, and it really draw, you know, got critically acclaimed. For, for 
the way it's been played. Far Cry 4 kind of in a similar area where there's a lot of uh, hype on the uh, on the guy that's you know the main 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 antagonist dude I see why those barrel guys are there now interesting I think they all blew up. Oh god, they all blew up. Oh god, now this guy wants to attack him. Oh shit! Get out! Don't die here! Well, it doesn't matter. Oh my god, that's what. Shit. 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 That is why I hate those guys. Like, you can't fight them melee. They either whack you with big club or spew on you with their lava. Freaking annoying. Now I have to go back to uh, repair my rings because I don't like losing my souls. So, new game releases. Let's go back to that. Far Cry 4. I believe that game's going to be good. A lot of people already said it looks good. A lot of Streamers already playing it, so you know it's a good game. Am I gonna get it? Probably next year, two years, when it's like twenty bucks or less. I'll get it then, cause I got so many games backed up. I'm just gonna keep doing game after game after game. Actually, I've been spending all my time in playing Dark Souls and LOL. No, I already have footage of Dark Souls ready for at least two more parts that are like hour long. Plus some PvP. PvP sections are always fun to watch. So, that's pretty much um, my schedule for playing games, but for new games, the next one I'm looking forward to obviously Bloodborne. Uh, spiritual successor to Demon Souls, but that requires me to get a PS4 because I don't have one right now. Hopefully, in Christmas or Boxing Day in Canada, they're gonna have a price drop. Then I can get it for cheap. This coming Friday is actually Black Friday. And for those who don't know, Canada does not have this crazy sale here in the companies here because they don't really see it as the day to, you know, start giving you guys like door crashes. They might, because they might, but the, the sale is not as good as the ones in US. I, I think like Canada is just bandwagoning on that idea. Whatever. Because most of the companies here in Canada are in the US as well, so it makes sense for them to put something like Black Friday, you know, as a marketing campaign for sales, whatever, to get more money. This year, I've already bought a lot of different things. Like, I bought a home theater system for almost like freaking 600, 700 bucks. And also bought a capture card for like a hundred bucks. The uh, AV Aver Meteor HD card. So I'm getting ready, to, you know, for console capturing. Because you know I can't just stay with PC. Even though PC is good, but you know I still want some some sort of footage for my console fans out there oh, these guys are really annoying like every freaking level there's two of them like what the fuck gives right like do you really need that many 
I've never seen this floor before. I know they probably fall on the ground. And I don't want to waste my bomb, so I'm just gonna hit it. Oh, if cracks open, what a surprise. So, am I gonna do a jump attack again on this guy? Let's see. Nope, fail. At least I recovered. That's actually a pretty fast recovery on the jump attack. Let's break the ground with my axe. Yeah. So I guess if you keep falling through, maybe you just die. Or maybe not. I don't know how this how that works. So apparently there's nothing on this floor. Which is good. Oops, missed. The tracking on this weapon is really weird. Be careful if you're using it. So I wonder what happens if the enemies were actually standing there and you f you wrecked the floor. Does that count? Does it hit damage? Do they die instantly? Hmm. Who knows? All I know is if you fall down all the way, holy shit. Okay, that guy. Okay, that was messed up. Almost got me killed. Yay, they dropped something. Yay, picked up something. I think this is the last level before the uh, the big guy. This, this, this DLC is so ridiculous. Like, so much enemies. Do you really need that many enemies here? Do you really? Like, is this really Dark Souls? I remember Enlano had like two archers and two demons on that one path. There's like... Did I just go through like eight of them? Eight of these soldiers? And then now there's a big one down here? Oh my god. And they purposely gave you a sniping spot. Like, what is this? They purposely give you a ledge so you can stand on and start shooting it with arrows and it can't do anything to you like how is this fun how is this exciting like I'm not gonna go down there because this guy's obviously overpowered in melee range he's fast big club and spews lava once you start hitting it so yeah no thanks so I guess I have to shoot it with freaking poison arrow and watch it die from arrows which is the problem of this this playthrough because I did not talk to Gavlon yet I need to go back to uh, No Man's Wharf to find him oh my god that is going to be annoying not to mention I gotta kill those guys for my set. I gotta farm my stalker set for my next character build. So I guess I might have a session, like one playthrough where I just stay in No Man's Wharf and just farm those guys. I don't know how fun that would be. I'm guessing it's gonna be funner than watching me do this bullshit. Just shooting him like in the front. I don't remember if I do a jump attack. I don't remember. I don't think I do. He needs to come over here and let me do a jump attack on it. Oh my god. Where the frick is he going? I'm over here. Come. 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 Walk over here. Get your ass over here. Don't be scared of me. Like, it doesn't make sense. Like, he can actually come over here and wreck me, but he doesn't. Now, I'm pretty sure he can reach me with his club. Makes no sense why he's just walking around like that. There you go. There you go. There you go. Dope! I missed the jump attack. Oh, and then he died. Yeah, bitch. You died. You died by freaking chicken shit tactics now what does this do 
Open another gate. Oh look, there's a corpse here. Oh look, there's an enemy over there. This guy can't possibly... Cannot possibly be able to get up, right? Holy shit, they're so strong. I hate these guys. Holy cow. Getting wrecked. This guy poss can't possibly get up and hurt me, right? There's no way. No way that guy's gonna get up. Because I'm already engaged with this one and he hasn't spawned yet. He's not gonna get up. It's okay. It's one on one. One on one and die. There you go. He's dead. Good. And look at this. Look at this message. Demise ahead. What? Get shot in the back. Almost immediately, just get shot in the back. These guys, oh, you can float in there. Oh, wow, you guys are OP. And one shot dead. Oh, I think I'm going to end it here. Uh, catch you guys next time, I guess. Toodles. Psych. Some PvP. Berserker build PvP. Hope you guys enjoy. See you guys next time.